Nityananda. There are many formidable predators that lurk beneath the ocean surface, though some are truly more fearsome than others. Here are my top four deadly ocean predators. Number four, the bull shark. The bull shark is commonly found worldwide in warm, shallow brackish waters along coasts and in rivers and is known for its aggressive nature. Since they love to swim close to the seashores, they tend to interact with humans more frequently than other shark species. The name bull shark comes from the animal's stocky shape, broad flat snout, and aggressive, unpredictable behavior. They are large and stout averaging 8 feet, and weighing on average around 300 pounds, with a maximum size of 11 feet and 700 pounds. Bull sharks have a bite force up to 1,330 pounds of force, weight for weight the highest among all sharks and cartilaginous fishes. The bull shark's diet consists mainly of bony fish and small sharks, including other bull sharks and stingrays. They also eat turtles, birds, dolphins, terrestrial mammals, crustaceans, and echinoderms. They hunt in murky waters which makes it harder to see them coming and they use the bump and bite technique to attack their prey. After the first initial contact, they continue to bite and tackle prey until they are unable to flee. This shark prefers coastal water which is less than 100 feet in depth. This is mostly due to their feeding patterns, since they prefer murky waters. This is also a problem, since this gives them the most interaction with humans. There have been many reports of bull shark bites on humans due to the shark being a very territorial animal and this close proximity with humans encourages their aggressive behavior. Bull sharks are believed to have been responsible for the famous Jersey Shore shark attacks of 1916, in which four people were killed and one injured, which were the inspiration for Peter Benchley's novel Jaws. They have also attacked swimmers around the Sydney Harbour inlets in Australia, and each year are responsible for numerous attacks along the Florida coastline, many coming at the shark bite capital of the world, New Smyrna Beach. If you happen to live in areas where bull sharks are known to roam, be ever mindful of these dangerous and ornery predators. Number 3. The Tiger Shark. The tiger shark is a large apex predator and is found in many tropical and temperate waters, especially around central Pacific Islands. They often visit shallow reefs, harbors, canals, and river mouths, which creates the potential for encounters with humans. Their name derives from the dark stripes that run down its body, which resemble a tiger's pattern, and they possess a stout head and body, although narrower at the tail end. Tigers are among the largest species of sharks, both in length and weight and commonly attains a length of 14 feet and weigh up to 1,400 pounds. Some specimens have been recorded reaching 18 feet and weighing over 3,000 pounds. This shark is a solitary, mostly nocturnal hunter and is notable for having the widest food spectrum of all sharks, with a range of prey that includes crustaceans, fish, seals, birds, squid, turtles, sea snakes, dolphins, and even other smaller sharks. It also has a reputation as a garbage eater, consuming a variety of inedible, man-made objects that linger in its stomach. Tigers generally swim slowly, which, combined with cryptic coloration, make them difficult for prey to detect. They are especially well camouflaged against dark backgrounds and despite their sluggish appearance are one of the strongest swimming sharks. Once they come close to its target, a speed burst allows it to reach the intended prey before it can escape. Sometimes called the man-eater shark, the tiger is one of the species most likely to attack a human unprovoked, and is considered one of the most dangerous sharks in the world for that reason. Tigers are one of the big three aggressive shark species, along with great whites and bull sharks. Of 111 reported tiger shark attacks, 31 were fatal. The great white is the only species that attacks and kills more people than the tiger. Tigers are so dangerous because they inhabit waters where humans swim, so the chances of an encounter are greater than with deep water species, and being so big and strong, can easily overpower a person in the water. Also tigers have teeth designed for shearing their food, so the damage they inflict is devastating. Their teeth are unique with very sharp, pronounced serrations and an unmistakable sideways pointing tip. 
Such dentition has developed to slice through flesh, bone, and other tough substances such as turtle shells. Number 2. The Great White Shark. The Great White is easily the most fearsome and notorious of all sea creatures and has a mythical reputation due to its presence in human folklore, movies, and books. Great Whites are responsible for more human fatalities than any other ocean predator so their fearsome reputation is not entirely unfounded. There have been 272 documented unprovoked incidents on humans as of 2012. Australian shores alone have had 35 fatalities since the year 2000. Great Whites are the largest predatory fish on Earth. They grow to an average of 15 feet in length, though specimens exceeding 20 feet and weighing up to 5,000 pounds have been recorded. They are also the longest lived of the cartilaginous fish, living 70 years or more. Great Whites live in almost all coastal and offshore waters which have water temperature between 54 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit, with greater concentrations in the United States, South Africa, Japan, Oceania, Chile, and the Mediterranean. They have also been found in the open ocean at depths of 3,900 feet, so they're not an entirely coastal species. Great Whites are torpedo-shaped with powerful tails that can propel them through the water at up to 15 miles per hour. They can even leave the water completely, breaching like whales when attacking prey from underneath. They have slate-gray upper bodies to blend in with the rocky coastal sea floor, but get their name from their universally white underbellies. Their side coloration makes it difficult for prey to spot the shark because their counter-shading breaks up their outline when seen from the side. From above, the darker shade blends with the sea and from below it exposes a minimal silhouette against the sunlight. The Great White is one of only a few sharks known to regularly lift its head above the sea surface to gaze at prey. This is known as spy hopping. Their main prey items are sea lions, seals, small toothed whales, sea turtles, other sharks, and large bony fish species, and even human beings. Of the 100-plus annual shark attacks worldwide, about one-half are attributable to Great Whites. Highly adapted predators, their mouths are lined with up to 300 serrated, triangular teeth arranged in several rows, and they have an exceptional sense of smell to detect prey. They even have organs that can sense the tiny electromagnetic fields generated by animals. Great Whites are so sensitive they can detect variations of half a billionth of a volt. At close range, this allows the shark to locate even immobile animals by detecting their heartbeat. Many researchers have postulated that humans are not the preferred prey of the Great White due to the fact that many victims survive the attacks, but lately researchers have hypothesized that the reason the proportion of fatalities is low is not because sharks do not like human flesh, but because humans are often able to escape after the first bite. In the 1980s, John McCosker, chair of aquatic biology at the California Academy of Sciences, noted that divers who dove solo and were bitten by great whites were generally at least partially consumed, while divers who followed the buddy system were generally rescued by their companion. Great whites generally make an initial attack and then wait for the prey to weaken before consuming them. Humans who are attacked with a friend nearby are able to move out of reach and thus foil the attack, which is unusual for a great white's prey. Number 1. The Killer Whale. Though our previous entry, the great white, has the most fearsome reputation of all saltwater predators, it's the killer whale that is indeed the true apex predator of the seas. The killer whale or orca is a toothed whale belonging to the oceanic dolphin family, of which it is the largest member. They can be found in each of the world's oceans in a variety of marine environments, from Arctic and Antarctic regions to tropical seas. Orca diets consists of seals, dolphins, sea birds, sea turtles, and many types of fish. They are also known to hunt adult whales and even full-grown sharks. They are apex predators, as no animal preys on them. Orcas live in highly social and live in very complex societies, and hunt in packs similar to wolves. They utilize sophisticated hunting techniques and vocal behaviors, which are often specific to a particular group and passed across generations. Their complex and stable vocal and behavioral cultures appear to have no parallel outside humans. 
Orcas have the second heaviest brains among marine mammals and are very intelligent. They can imitate others, and seem to deliberately teach skills to their kin. People who have interacted closely with these whales attest to the whale's curiosity, playfulness, and ability to solve problems. A typical orca bears a black back, white chest and sides, and a white patch above and behind the eye. It has a heavy and robust body with a large dorsal fin. Their teeth are very strong, and its jaws exert a powerful grip. The upper teeth fall into the gaps between the lower teeth when the mouth is closed. The firm middle and back teeth hold prey in place, while the front teeth are inclined slightly forward and outward to protect them from powerful jerking movements. Orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family and males typically range from 20 to 26 feet long and weigh in excess of 6 tons. The orca's large size and strength make it among the fastest marine mammals and are able to reach speeds in excess of 35 miles per hour. Orcas have good eyesight above and below the water, excellent hearing, and a good sense of touch. They have exceptionally sophisticated echolocation abilities, detecting the location and characteristics of prey and other objects in the water by emitting clicks and listening for echoes, as do other members of the dolphin family. They are very sophisticated and effective predators of marine mammals. Groups even attack larger cetaceans such as mink and grey whales and sometimes even sperm or blue whales. Hunting a large whale usually takes several hours. Orcas generally attack young or weak animals, however, a group of five or more may attack a healthy adult. When hunting a young whale, a group chases it and its mother to exhaustion. Eventually, they separate the pair and surround the calf, drowning it by keeping it from surfacing. Orcas are also known to target great whites, but they don't devour the whole shark as there isn't a significant amount of rich blubber to be had. The targeted areas are the liver, stomach and testes, due to the high concentrations of oil and fats in those areas and orcas have shown a stunning surgical precision in extracting those parts. The shark's livers are very large compared to other animals and this makes a great white's liver a great source of quick energy. The manner in which orcas attack great whites is by ramming hard into them which stuns the shark, then flipping them over and holding it in that position. Sharks require water to move across their gills while swimming in order to breathe, so the orcas essentially drown the shark by holding them in this position. The good news for the great white community is that they seem to be learning to adjust to the threat by leaving areas when they know that there are killer whales nearby. And this concludes my top 4 deadly ocean predators video. I hope you enjoyed it and please have a wonderful day.